Page. Thanks so much for joining us for Thanks ICTC for, for yeah. National Cyber Day. This is so exciting having our IT lawyer here. Okay, let's start. 30 okay. seconds. This is a sprint, so you got to keep it fast. <laughs> 30 second intro. Who are you and what do you do? Wow. 30 seconds for a 30 lawyer. Seconds. No time. So, so uh, my name is Paige Backman. I am a lawyer. I've been a lawyer for 22 years. I specialized right from the get-go 22 years ago when very few people even knew anything about privacy or cybersecurity. I started to specialize in, in IT technology law in addition to corporate law and then just developed over time because of the the influx of, of technologies and data protection issues. Uh, I've become a specialist in, in those areas and it's been a fun ride ever since. Very good. So what is an IT lawyer? Oh, uh, so an IT lawyer is a broad term that can, anything that deals with technologies and it can include now the metaverse and include <laughs> FinTech and health tech and all sorts of technology related items. And, and so, Part of that, not everybody, but many IT lawyers also also have a subspecialty in what we would call cybersecurity or privacy law. Now, my my specialty of cybersecurity and privacy is probably bigger than a lot of IT lawyers, but it is a subset of my practice. And what's the best part of being an IT lawyer? Everything's new. Like you're right at the beginning of some amazing, amazing developments and technologies and how humanity interacts with technologies and artificial intelligence, which only a few years ago was only in movies. So just a phenomenal time and really fundamental issues relating to who we are as, as people are integrated into sort of IT and, and cybersecurity issues. Very cool. And what do you, uh, do you have to have a background in IT to be an IT lawyer? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I, I will say that 22 years ago when I started, I probably, it was a smoother introduction because I knew how to use a computer, which back then was a big thing. Um, no, you do not have to be an IT specialist to be an IT lawyer, You, but you do have to have an affinity or kind of a love or find it fascinating, I think, or it would be a much harder uh, practice to be in. So you really have to find the issues engaging to um, to want to spend your time, your days and nights um, dealing, uh, managing these issues or dealing with these issues and, and, and just seeing how the laws and actually humanity, you know, evolves as a result of all these wonderful IT issues. I could go on forever. I know some of my partners probably get tired of me talking about it, but uh, you don't need to be an IT person, but you, you should have a, a love or an interest in IT issues. Uh, and do you ever get to work with law enforcement as an yes. IT lawyer? Yes. Well, well, yeah. So less as a, an IT lawyer, but more in the cybersecurity privacy um, area where we have data breaches and, um, and, and sometimes online cyber crimes. That's another area that I do a lot of work in is cyber crime area. And so we do work with law enforcement. Um, we, we work hand in hand with law enforcement when we're dealing with either cyber uh, data breaches or cyber crimes. We will have cyber crime, Durham Regional Police Cyber Crimes Unit joining us for a video. So that will be really interesting. Fantastic. Too. Yeah, Fantastic. to see their perspective. Okay, yes. so here's your wrap up question and everybody gets this question. We wanna see everybody's different perspectives on this. So what's the number one thing you think young people need to know about cyber safety? Um, it takes a community and you should be learning as early as you can. So we start talking with our kids, um, I, including my, my young boys many years ago about safety when they go outside our doors, like don't talk to strangers. We should be teaching that as early about cyber safety. So right, even before kindergarten, as soon as they can, as soon as they're old enough to talk and walk, that we should be integrating this as part of our normal vernacular. And it takes a community. It's, it's not you alone. So if you find you're in a, in a situation of, of a cyber cyber attack, cyber bullying, um, understand that dealing with it will large, will likely take many people, and that's okay. That's that's okay, and you should be engaging as many people as possible to help you deal with with those situations. But understand cyber safety early on, and if there's an issue, bring as many people around you as possible to help you deal with it. Yeah, right on. That's exactly the message we've been trying to convey. <laughs> it's a team sport. We need lots yeah, of people. Involved. It is a team sport for yeah. for sure. I can't stress that enough. So so great minds think alike there. Yeah, right on. Excellent. Thanks so much, Paige. We really appreciate it.